Mr. Craney, you caught me right before I'm doing some of my favorite summer activities. Checking out these slides during the summer. Whoa, whoa, wee! This is so much fun! I wanted to talk to everyone because I am so proud of each and every one of you for all the hard work you put in this summer. We grew so much this summer as a school and it's because of your hard work. But I learned something. I learned that if you don't read during the summer, you actually lose everything that you learned during the school year. It's called a summer slide. That's right. That's not a fun slide to go on. A summer slide means that you didn't do your part this summer and your part is to read every day. If you don't read every day, we can lose everything that we learned during the summer, putting us behind when school starts again. So in order to stay on top of things, make sure you're doing your reading every day. I've got a lot of fun activities planned for you to do this summer, so sit tight and check out these opportunities. Tip number one, always have a book with you. If you're riding in the car, read a book. If you're waiting for an appointment, read a book. You don't need chargers or Wi-Fi. All you need is a good book. Tip number two, stick with what works. If you have a favorite author or series, keep on reading. Tip number three, don't ever read alone. I'll read a page, then you read a page. Or maybe one night you can read me a book or I can read you a book. Don't read alone. Tip number four, reading is fun. Make it fun. You can read anywhere. Make sure your book puts a smile on your face. You can read under your blanket at night, in the dark with a flashlight, or outside in a tree, or even in a secret hiding place. Reading should be fun. Tip number five, go to the library as much as possible. The library is one of my favorite places to go, especially in the summer. It has great books and air conditioning. Head on over to the library and pick out some of your favorites too. Tip number six, have a family read aloud. There's no reason for you to read alone. Invite the whole family. How much fun is it if you can read to your family one of your favorite books? Tip number seven. When you have the choice between a book or your tablet or technology, always choose a book. Tip number eight. Keep reading those old favorites. I could never get sick of this book. Oh. Tip number nine, talk to people about what you read. Hey, anybody want to listen to me and what I read? Anybody? Tip number 10, reading doesn't always have to be books. You can read newspapers or magazines. Here are some of my favorites. Yahara, make sure this is the only slide you use this summer. Read every day.